to the side try to make a little further but it just didn't want to have it so we are at Dodge right now trying to see if they can check it out and see what's going on hopefully nothing too major um, obviously if there's something bad like transmission or whatnot that'll be expensive hope that's not the case gonna take a look at some of these newer Durangos not too much different but I do like the aggressive hood and everything. So that's pretty cool. I like the sunroof. Um, warranty and everything on there. I do like the white with the black wheels. And this probably a salesman coming over right now trying to get us to buy it because somebody done hit the remote start. So maybe we'll take a test drive on this thing. All right, so we're sitting in the 2020 Durango GT. Um, pretty much everything the same. This one, like I said before, has that sunroof, which I wouldn't say is a must, but it'd be nice to have. It also apparently has sport, whatever that means. The guy says you can power up on the highway. So ours doesn't have that. This area is updated. The you connect whole deal um, the gear shift we have the twist button the knob this one has the old style shifter um, other than that yeah pretty much everything's the same in the back we lose the uh, bench seat to two captain's chairs which might be a deal breaker so I have to think about that but that's pretty much it a lot of traffic right now, but I'm about to smash off on somebody. Here we go. Okay, okay. I think it's like it's gonna blow up. Oh no. They shouldn't have let us test drive this thing, boy. God. They say drive it like it stole it. I mean the Honda. The Honda always come through to save the day. The Mopar break down, Honda lead the way. All 
All right, so for some reason I bypassed these scat packs, probably because I like them so much. And I ain't really want to look at it. But um, so you got this thing right here. Just the inside of these is kind of boring though. It's, it don't look too good. A few moments later. All right, so now I got the BMW out of the garage, about to get her all ready to go. Made sure the tires are good. Made sure it's no leaks or nothing. I ain't drove in a little while. The last thing I did to it was um, I did a water pump on it. Replaced that. I mean, I'm not the best mechanic in the world, so I drove it to Dulles Airport and back, and it did fine, so I'm about to take it to work tomorrow. So we'll see. This is a 06 330i for those of y'all that don't know. And uh, it's my baby six speed manual. So there she is. Gonna be hitting the road tomorrow. All right, also at some point, Jaden and I will be coming out to do a little tune up on his Z3. Um, make sure everything's good to go. Gonna start putting it on the road a little bit more. It's a pretty good car, it's in good shape. The top is new, runs good. So you guys see it, it's manual two. So it's a good car. Guys, so right now headed to uh, the Dodge dealership to see what's the deal with the truck. Hopefully everything good. I mean, I, I don't know what to expect right now. Hopefully it's not gonna hit me over the head for price. So I'll holler at y'all when I get there. Much, much, much later. All right, so same video, same day. Um, I forgot to record while I was at the dealership, but pretty much we got the truck back. Um, it's kind of what I suspected. The plugs fouled out for whatever reason. Um, it has like 80, 80 some thousand miles on it. So I don't know, maybe it's just time maybe i don't know what the deal is but got new plugs got new coils um pretty much it i think they did like a fuel system clean um other than that that's i think that's about all they did um, it didn't cost too much obviously more than i wanted to pay but it wasn't too over the top but, um, I mean, that's pretty much it. That's all done. Hopefully, I don't have any more problems out of it. It's been pretty consistent. It's like the first thing that went wrong. Um, so that's pretty much it.